Elijah and Easter break off school. We've finished our lessons for now about Elijah and Elisha and we're going to be having a few lessons about people Jesus helped. The story today is from the New Testament, the second part of the Bible, from the book called Luke and chapter 13. In the book of Luke, we can read about what Jesus did when he was on earth. I've got a circle here with a face on it. What do you think the matter is with this person? Can we tell just by looking at them? Yes, we can tell this person isn't happy, can't we? Because he's frowning and there's a tear coming from his eyes. So this person is very sad. So I have another question for you. What do people come to church to do? It's to learn about God and worship him, isn't it? A synagogue is a building where Jewish people worship. Jesus went to the synagogue each week too, wherever he was. Sometimes he stood up at the front of the synagogue and spoke. One day when he was teaching, a lady with a big problem came in. She was bent right over and couldn't straighten her back at all. Here's a picture of the lady. She had been like this for 18 years. Sometimes it's easy to see when people have a problem. Sometimes nobody else knows. Jesus can always tell when someone needs his help, whether other people can or not. So Jesus saw the lady while he was standing teaching in the synagogue. He saw her coming in at the back, all bent over. He stopped what he was saying and called to her to come to the front of the synagogue. He said to her, Woman, you are set free from your disability. Then he put his hands on her and immediately she was able to straighten her back and stand tall. Everybody saw what Jesus had done. The first thing the lady did was to praise God for healing her. Here's a picture of the lady looking very happy and praising God. Jesus not only knows when people need help, but he cares about them too. He can use his great power to help them. It is right to praise him for the good things he has done. But not everybody was happy about the lady being made well. The man in charge of the synagogue was cross. It was God's special day called the Sabbath, a bit like our Sunday. People weren't supposed to work. And the man thought that making people better on God's special day was wrong. He said, you've got six days to do your work. Don't come on the Sabbath to get better, come on another day. But Jesus said, you look after your cows and donkeys on God's special day, don't you? Then it's right to help people too. So here's a picture of the man looking very cross. He's the leader of the synagogue. And here's a picture of his donkeys and cows. God made animals and all living things and it's right to take good care of them. But people are different to animals because God made them to be his friends. The people in the synagogue were very pleased with the wonderful things that Jesus was doing. God doesn't want people just to be amazed at the wonderful things that Jesus can do. The things that make people say, wow. He wants us to understand how Jesus can do that because he is God's son and why he helps people because he cares about them. Jesus cares about you too. Have you asked him to help you with the things that you find hard? Or perhaps you would like him to help someone else. Don't forget to thank him too. Some people don't get help because no one cares for them. Sometimes people want to help, but they cannot because they do not have the power. But Jesus has both the love and the power. Let's look at our verse to learn today. It says, Great is the Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147 verse 5. Let's praise Jesus for his great power and ask him to help us this week. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you care about us and that you love us and we thank you for your great power. 
We pray that you would help us this week, especially when there's things that we find difficult. Help us to trust in you. Amen. So why don't you try and find different ways of being kind to someone every day this week? <clears throat> so now let's look at our activities for the week. First of all, you have your activity sheet to complete. <clears throat> and then you have a big heart to remind you of God's love for you. And also in the big heart is printed our verse to learn. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Psalm 147 verse 5. You may like to colour it in or you may like to paint a big red outline on the heart like I've done. There'll be some paints in your activity pack. And you also have a pipe cleaner lady. This one, pipe cleaners are quite easy to bend, so maybe you can retell the story and pretend that there's a lady and then you can straighten her up. So, <clears throat> in your pack, there's already a little lady made up and there's a little dress that you can put on her with a slip that you can pop over the head <clears throat> and then there's a pipe cleaner <clears throat> to go around the waist <clears throat> to hold the dress on like that. <clears throat> I thought you might like to have a go at making one yourself too. So there's a spare pipe cleaner. I'm just going to show you how to do it. So the first thing is to fold it in half and then make a little circle at the top and twist a couple of times. So it's like that. And then you make the arm. So do one one side and twist and then the other one the other side and twist. So you've got a head and two arms now and then you twist a few times where the body is just to hold the pipe cleaners together and then you have the legs. So you can have a go at that. There's also a spare little dress in your activity packs and a spare pipe cleaner for tying around the waist. So I hope you have fun doing that. Do be careful because the end of the pipe cleaners are a little bit sharp, so be really careful you don't hurt yourself. So do send in some photos of your activities this week. We do love to see them. I hope you enjoy your week at school this week. I'll be praying for you all as you go back to school and I'll look forward to seeing you all again next week. So now we're going to finish with a song from Linda and Josh. So bye for now. We've got Josh now, and he's, and he's going to play for us. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Here we go. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, and nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, and nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, and mountains are his, the stars are his, and he works too. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, and nothing that he cannot do. Again! My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, that nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, that nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.